Hey, this is Rubber Cheese. Today I'm going to do a walk around demo and review of the Snowjo Ion 18SB Hybrid Snow Thrower, which is this guy here. This unit is identical to the Ion 18SB 40 volt, except that it adds capability to be operated by 120 volt power and includes a 13 and a half amp motor. Together, these changes add about 10 pounds to the overall weight. So I picked up this snow thrower on clearance in the spring and I've used it about uh, five or six times so far. I picked it because I wanted something very small that I could fit between cars and I wanted the ability to operate on battery or as a corded unit. So just to begin, the whole gas versus cord versus battery debate, um, I used to live in the country and I had a gas mower. Um, that's awesome, it can power through anything, but it's big and heavy. Um, I live in town now and I wanted something compact that I could hang up when I'm not using it or store in the basement during the uh, summer. So an electric or battery unit kind of made sense. Um, I've had good luck with lithium batteries, but at the same time I know that they wear out over time. And so I thought, oh, maybe I should do corded. The problem with corded is you have to deal with a cord. So I thought this is a perfect uh, way to kind of get the best of both worlds. And yeah, that's what I went with. All right, so now we'll look at the features of this unit. So first of all, this comes with rubber tines, if you will. Now this is a single stage unit, so this is the only real normal moving part to throw the snow. Uh, up here is the adjustable chute, and this chute is adjusted uh, with the switch up here. Right now I got no batteries in it, so it won't work. Um, this is surprisingly convenient. Uh, it works really well. It's fast and it's nice that you can be moving the chute while you're pushing the unit. On this side, we have a light, which actually works really well in the dark. And this here is the battery compartment. And then on this side are the controls. So if you're operating it on AC, you hold this down and then pull back this. And if you're operating on DC uh, or on a battery, you hold this one down and pull this up. So I'm just going to put in the battery. Um, if you buy the normal unit, it comes with a charger and a battery. Um, but of course, if you buy the uh, bear kit, you don't get these items. So I've got this battery fully charged. Um, if you're gonna buy any battery uh, unit, make sure you store the battery inside to maximize the life of the battery. So the battery includes a little indicator, charge indicator, and we see that we're on three bars right now. So let's install it. All right, so now I can just show you how the light looks. It doesn't look like much, but it does make a big difference when you're using this at night. And operate the chute. It's pretty fast, and like I say, it's actually really convenient to have, um, have it electric because you can be actually snow blowing while you're changing the chute direction. When I had a gas blower, it was manual. So you always had to kind of pause in order to rotate the chute. And then just to operate the unit, just for volume. So that may sound pretty loud, but when you're outside, you can't really notice it. So compared to a gas blower, this thing is awesome from that point of view. So a few key specs. The intake dimensions are eight inches wide, or sorry, 18 inches wide by eight inches tall. The battery is 40 volts and four amp hours, and it's rated at 50 minutes of use. Um, that's pretty consistent with what I found so far. Uh, the electric motor is a 13 and a half amp, and it's rated at 500 pounds a minute. For some reason, Snow Joe doesn't publish the rating for the um, DC motor. And the weight is somewhere between 40 and 42 and a half pounds, depending on which Snow Joe 
uh, reference you're looking at. If you're going to be using this as corded mode, uh, Snowjo recommends a 12 gauge if you're using more than a 50 foot cord or a 14 gauge uh, for less than 50 feet. And there are only two prongs are required. There is no uh, ground. So performance. This thing is perfect for typical city residents. Um, the battery is good to clear my pathway, four car driveway, and about 100 feet of sidewalk in the heaviest of snow. Um, if the battery were to run out, I could just plug it in and carry on. Uh, so for this reason, when there are really heavy snowfalls, I kind of plan my route. I do the sidewalks first and I finish up with my driveway just because the driveway would be the most easy um, to use in corded mode. The blower is also more powerful when it's plugged in and running off the 13 and a half amp motor. So keep that in mind. If you do get a really big snowfall, it might be worthwhile just running it in corded mode just for that reason. Um, this thing does get bogged down in really, really heavy snow, especially that stuff you get at the end of the driveway that's pushed on uh, by the snow plow. Um, to deal with that, I mostly um, just do a couple inches at a time and just sort of do the, you know, just slowly drive it over. I mean, really, this unit's not made to deal with that, but it does the job good enough. All right, I just wanted to clarify one thing about the chute. Although rotation is battery powered, uh, the up and down is purely manual. So there is a tensioner on each side, which you can adjust. I leave mine with a bit of tension on, and then while I'm snow blowing, I can just kind of hit it up or down by using this piece back here. So I'm going to do a bit of a demo. Today we've got a few inches of fresh snow. It's really easy stuff for this blower. It's very light and fluffy. Um, I'm also going to try and set up my camera to show how maneuverable this is. Um, the stairs up my path are, I don't know, five to 10 feet apart. And I can actually really easily clear the whole thing with the snow blower. So I'm going to try and show you that. So I'm going to get bundled up and tape a demo for you. So I just cleared about one lane, so about half the driveway. Um, the snow is really fluffy, so that was super easy. Um, one thing I also want to add is if you do buy this unit, um, when it's really heavy snow, it'll get a little bit bogged down if you're shooting to the side. But if you can shoot forward, um, it's able to throw a lot better when it's the heavy stuff. On light stuff like today, it really doesn't matter.
This is at the end of the driveway. It's difficult with one hand holding a camera though. Alright, so I just got in. Uh, I did my four car driveway uh, about 120 feet of sidewalk, plus, and that's probably four inch deep snow. Um, then I also carved a path to my backyard in out of about eight inch deep snow. Um, so after doing that, I'm still got one battery, one out of three battery life remaining. So that's about as much as I'd normally do. Um, I actually did part of my neighbor's driveway as well. So, um, also kind of want to talk a little bit about, war about warranty. Um, this unit comes with a two year warranty and you can get a free 90 day extension if you register the product. Um, I actually have made a warranty claim. Um, I found when I first got it, the charger was buzzing. So I initiated a warranty claim. It was pretty easy. They sent me a new one and gave me a shipping label. And then once I got the new one, I was able just to package up the old one in the packaging they sent me and send it back at no cost. Um, so that worked out pretty nice. So overall, I'm really happy with the snow thrower. It's easy to use and works well in most conditions. Uh, it's a great option if you have a typical city lot and garage spaces at a premium. If you have a big lot to clear or you get a ton of snow, um, I'd probably recommend the two-stage unit, whether it's gas-powered or at least a more substantial electric model. Um, they make 80 volt and 100 volt units as well. But for a normal city, for normal city use, this thing is perfect. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I've included a product link below. Feel free to leave questions or comments below, and please subscribe to see other in-depth product reviews and demos that I make. Thanks.